While flashing custom ROMs, you might have seen these terms MIUI vendor or OSS vendor. So basically when a ROM is made, you have two different options in them. One is OSS and second is MIUI vendor. And based on what ROM you choose, what type of ROM you choose, you have flashing instructions accordingly. It's not major difference, but there are a considerable amount of difference that can make a ROM boot or get you into a boot loop. So in this video, I'm going to talk about what exactly are these two things and what makes them different, which one to choose and what are the steps that you should follow to avoid boot loop. Without wasting any time now, let's start the video. So this right here is Redmi Note 10 Pro. This still runs on MIUI and since it is MIUI, it is based on MIUI vendor. Now, what exactly are those two things? So basically, whenever a Xiaomi or any company releases a phone in the market, it has its own software and in Xiaomi's case, it's MIUI. And Xiaomi made a vendor which is called MIUI vendor. And that MIUI vendor supports MIUI ROM perfectly fine without any issues. So basically it's like this that these two components like the software MIUI and the vendor of MIUI merges together and works and functions really very well. But after some time whenever a phone is released, its source code is released to the public for those developers to experiment and make custom ROMs. Sometimes it's within a month, sometimes it's within 2-3 months. So basically after that happens, after that period happens, the developers take this vendor called MIUI vendor and adds new features to it and those features after adding it becomes OSS vendor. So basically an OSS vendor is nothing but your MIUI vendor which is this but with lot more features. So that creates an OSS vendor and whenever you are flashing a ROM which is having an OSS vendor in it it will say OSS based ROM which means it already has this OSS vendor in it. So basically a vendor which is already MIUI plus more. And an MIUI is literally the stock MIUI vendor that Xiaomi released back when it had support. What is the difference between these two things? So basically whenever a phone is launched in the market, the phone is being taken care of by a set of developers for some specific time. But right after some time of the phone being released, the company also releases the source code for people to experiment on and those are basically called developers that are making custom ROMs. So what developers do sometimes is they take the official MIUI vendor and merge it with their custom ROMs and that becomes a MIUI based custom ROM. But sometimes developers want to increase the performance probably or like change the factory optimization or make changes in the official MIUI vendor and then add more features to it and that becomes MIUI vendor with more features also known as OSS vendor. That's when this OSS vendor is being made and once this vendor is made and attached with a ROM, it becomes an OSS based ROM. A MIUI ROM will never have vendor included in it, while an OSS ROM will always have that OSS vendor attached to it. So if you look and if you notice an MIUI ROM and an OSS ROM, the size difference will vary. The MIUI ROM will be less of the size than OSS ROM because it also has vendor attached to it. Same reason why whenever you are flashing an MIUI based ROM, you have to flash the vendor before. While when you are flashing OSS ROM, you have to remove the vendor which is already present in your device because now the ROM already has a vendor in it. So whatever is installed on your device right now, that vendor has to go off because the moment you will flash the ROM, it's initially going to flash the vendor and then move on to ROM. That's the OSS ROM. So this brings us to our next question, which is OSS vendor. Why exactly do we need it? So imagine this phone Redmi K20 Pro, right? It was released around two years ago and Xiaomi has deliberately stopped giving it software updates. What happens is if you know Apple, with every software update that your device gets, after a specific amount of time, your device will get slow because that's what companies want. They want to slow down the device so that the user will be forced to buy a new one. Similar thing happens with the companies other than Apple as well. I'm not pointing names here, but it does happen. So basically, whenever you are getting an MIUI update, it will give you more features, 
but at the other hand it will decrease the performance somehow and after a specific amount of time the same phone that used to be very fast in the start will get quite slow at the end but this thing is only happening in miui vendors because companies are explicitly using them but when that miui vendor is taken by a developer and a new features are added into it they can even remove this slowness and so now which same device that you were having issues with after flashing with the oss rom will perform better because it has been optimized to give you better performance and battery backup than the miui window in some cases like in redmi note 10 pro the screen still flickers on miui window so basically if you lower the brightness the screen will flicker and this phone right now even has the support of miui but it's still not getting updates but if probably a developer looks into it and decides to fix it in oss rom it can do it and after you flash it the software bug will easily be gone so that's the major difference between an miui based vendor and an oss vendor and that is why we need oss based vendor because after some specific time maybe after 2 years 3 years miui official miui vendors will stop getting upgraded and what is the last update whatever bugs they have will still be there so all in all if we sum it all all up like the entire video one word oss is the future and that is why this oss support is really crucial but why exactly some people should not install it so basically people looking for stability because at times there may be bugs introduced while adding a new feature that breaks some other feature already present in miui window so that feature can be broken and then you will have a not so smooth experience you will get more updates you will get more bugs fixed but you will also not have that stablest or like the most stable experience or at times your l1 certification can also break on oss vendor which you can still get by the way but it just breaks initially now this video wouldn't have been possible if i wouldn't have had more information and down in the description i will leave the link of all the articles that i found really helpful with including a developer called anurag and he is making hiken os like he's not making hiken but he is the developer and maintaining it it's a very good rom i tested it haven't made a review yet i will be but links to which will be in the description and it's an oss based rom by the end of the video i will also make sure to leave the information where you will be able to see what all roms are basically miui rom as of now so with that i hope miui vendor and oss vendor the difference between them has been cleared and now you have a better understanding of what exactly an miui vendor is or an oss vendor is if you have any doubts don't hesitate in leaving them in the comment section below because i really want to help as much as possible and make you understand what these things are and how these things work if you have any other suggestions you can also drop them in the comment section below if you enjoyed watching this video and if you really learned something don't forget to click that like and if you want to be a part of the family click on subscribe and share this video to all those people who you really want to tell the difference between an oss and an miui based vendor all the helpful links will be there in the description section below so make sure you check that out and new to my channel again click on subscribe become the part of the family and i'll be catching you next time in another video until then take care